Sandra, please share with us your testimony and what God Almighty has done in your life. So two years ago, I had to quit my job to go to school full time as a dental hygienist. And uh, this last May, as I was taking my exams, some of the students in the class already had interviews for the job, but they got accepted for a job. But for the job that I was hoping to apply, they already hired somebody, and I, I did not apply. So as I was taking these exams, I was going to morning prayers, and I was praying, God, um, come through for me. So I wanted to apply to one job. I had an interview, and it didn't set in with me. It didn't feel like it was something that... Um, it was from God for me at that time. So I continue on praying, and Holy Spirit speaks to me. Submit a resume to this job that you want to go to, the, um, the company that I worked for when I was an assistant. So I go in on Friday. I submit my resume. I uh, tell the manager, I'm like, I just want to make it official that I do still want to work here, maybe part-time or an on-call. Um, I just want to work. And she just looks at me does something in the computer, and she's like, well, um, on Monday, I'm going to open up a position for you, so go ahead and apply. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus. This was a, a, you were working as an assistant before you went to school, and that's something that you really wanted to, that's the place that you wanted to work, but uh, as you already heard from your colleagues and your peers that the position was already taken and there's nothing available, but the Holy Spirit spoke to you and said, hey, apply because this is where you want to work. Is that correct? That yeah, that was true. So um, on Monday, I apply. On Tuesday, um, I'm at morning prayer. I was speaking to Pastor Vlad, and I got a, ma um, a call from the place that they hire me. <laughs> so I go um, fill up all the um, information for the, uh, the on-call position because um, they didn't have any full-time position available. And I worked at this company for seven years before, and I started as an on-call um, den uh, dental assistant. And I was on call for about two and a half or so years. So I knew that the on call position is going to be a long period of time. So, um, but when I was praying, Holy Spirit also spoke to me. If you, when you get hired, you have to give the first check to me. So I made that commitment. I made that vow to God. I'm like, God, if you give me this job, I'm, I will give the first paycheck to you. So um, the time comes to give the first paycheck and... Um, me and my husband were talking and we're like, we're struggling with finances, but we made that promise. We have to, we have to fulfill it. So we give that paycheck and, um, on Friday, I remember cause we were running short on some money. We would have to pay interest on in some of the credit cards that we owe money on. And, um, we did some, something for church and we had somebody that came to me and gave me a paycheck. And it was enough to pay the bills and for us not to go into negative and not to pay um, the interest. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And I know the testimony does not stop there. Can you please continue? What else God has done? Everybody's like, wow, that's awesome. No, we're not done yet. What else has God done in your life? Well, as I continued on working, I didn't expect... Um, so my manager comes to me about, I don't know, a month ago and she says... I want to talk to the management team and I want to um, talk to them to get you budgeted for the next year to have you full time. And I was already shocked. I'm like, I expected to work on call hygienist for about two years or so, just like I was, I was working as a dental assistant. So she uh, talked to the management. They approved me for the next year for full time. But <laughs> last week she comes to me and she tells me, well, I think we're just, we have the management team here right now, and I think we're just going to start you November 1st full-time. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Come on, this is, this, is, this is what we call from glory to glory to glory. Amen, church? Just like that, as we've seen that song, and we believe that as you're sitting here listening to this testimony, God is going to do the same thing in your life in Jesus' name. Do you receive that, church? What amazes me, it, was, it wasn't like uh, she was already working there and things were happening. It was an open position. It was just a closed door. But as Holy Spirit begins to speak to her, say, hey, no, even if the door is closed, I'm going to make a way where there is no way. Amen. And God began to go from glory to glory to glory in that position in Jesus' name. And that is so wonderful. And what is your advice to people? And even what Pastor Vlad talked about the vows and something the Holy Spirit also spoke to you to do. What can you advise to people about the same sphere? You know, first fruits, they do belong to God. You know, 
tithing is very important. It's a principle you have to live by. It's not for God, it's for you. Um, you don't know the miracles that God has ahead of you. You know, sometimes God leads you to do, give a sacrifice. Go for it. Do it. Trust God. And, you know, the promise that you make with him, fulfill it. Don't, don't question it because God has a great future for you. Come on, thank you so much. Come on, put our hands together for Jesus Christ and what God Almighty has done in our life.